One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today, in this episode, we are going to take a look at the main types of cantilevers. Yes, that small little thin piece of metal or other stuff connecting your precious stylus and your phono cartridge. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay guys, so before starting I want to signal a video I made a few months ago. Here's a link, you're also gonna find the link below in the video description of the main types of styli, the stylus, different types of stylus of phono cartridges, which obviously are strictly connected to the topic of today's video, cantilevers. Okay, so what is a cantilever? A cantilever is, as I said, that piece of material, because as we will see, not necessarily metal, that connects the stylus to the rest, perhaps magnets inside, but not only, inside your phono cartridge. It's an important part. It's not just a stick keeping the stylus there. I mean, the reaction, the compliance, the, the, there are some elements that help tracking, as you can imagine, that help uh, reading correctly the, the groove that gives maximum response to the stylus in order to follow those grooves. It's all part, every single part is important. Also the cantilever. What are the main elements that we have to look for a quality cantilever? Well, mainly two. It has to be darn stiff and it has to have low mass. Those are the two parameters that we have to look for. And we have mainly two types, I would say, general types, macroscopic types. Rods, which means something solid, not hollow, and tubes, which instead inside are hollow. Okay, let's start. We're gonna take a look at the six main types right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so type number one, aluminum pipe. Just a side note, aluminium is English, aluminum is US English, okay? Once for all. In any case, type number one, the most common of all, the one made of aluminum. Yes, uh, even though it may seem a cheap choice, there are top-notch cartridges using that, absolutely, because it is special. It does have two aspects that make makes it very special even though there are very fancy ones above that absolutely aluminium types absolutely top notch don't worry if your if your cartridges ha cartridge has that type now uh, first of all the aluminium or aluminum type can hold the stylus fixed okay that's something important it, you cannot if you want you don't have to, do not have to use glue it's not um, um, the problem isn't that much if glue is gonna somehow resist or not through time. Also, clearly, especially if you go and use some special liquids, if they're not properly calibrated, they may uh, somehow melt that glue. So that's always a risk. But apart from that, glue adds mass. That's why we are not that fond of glue. But almost practically all the other ones do have glue. This is why this is one aspect that makes aluminium type of cantilevers special. That's the first one. And the second one is that it can be a pipe. It can be hollow, lowering the mass. And as a metal, it's it has a good density. It's pretty stiff. So you have an accurate reading, pretty much, pretty stable. So that's why it is one of the most popular choices. I mean, it's cheap to do and it's very effective. Hence, great product. Let's proceed. The second type isn't that very common, actually, but I'm going from, we could say the worst, although it isn't, as I said before, to the best, okay? The second type is the zirconian pipe. And maybe you've heard about this word, zirconian, because that's also what they use to make fake diamonds. Mm -hmm. 
so uh, they can mold that and in fact that's why we have again a pipe type and not a rod a filled one type and it's always better as i said because you can reduce even more mass plus zirconium has a very high density uh, a, a few of these specs and i'm also going to show afterwards a table with all the main specs comes from adamant namiki which is a diamond manufacturer which also does a lot of things for audio especially for cartridges phono cartridges so uh, i'm gonna put the link here below in the video description and i'm gonna show you a few a few elements coming from their website which is very thorough very complete i must admit okay so uh the zirconian pipe is surely a excellent type of of a cantilever the namiki uh, site says it's very charming, which it's probably very pleasing. And I must admit that I never had a zirconian cantilever, so I, I I don't know. I'm just reporting what I'm reading. In any case, it's good to know. There's also this type. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, our third type is the sapphire rod, or in a few cases, also pipe. You can also find sapphire as pipe. Obviously, we're talking about synthetic sapphires not real sapphires in any case this is already at another level very high quality uh, it is very rigid very stiff and that's why we have an excellent reading it transmits all the vibrations of the stylus to the the cartridge because those vibrations are the sound actually in the end those wigglings so that's very important and in fact uh, they're better for, uh, uh, regarding uh, in comparison to the aluminium types at least that's the common knowledge I'm, I'm sure you're gonna find fantastic aluminium can deliver cartridges that cost per perhaps even like I don't know $100 and the sapphire type that cost $500 and the $100 is better sounding so these are just some elements in order to understand the scale okay but they're not as I always say, sculpt in marble. That's, that's a, a way of saying in Italian. It's just an indication, okay? We must remember that uh, a cartridge is composed by different ele elements, after all. And the final sound is, com is the ensemble of these elements. So, once again, these are only a few suggestions of what uh, you should look out for if you're interested in this and experimenting. Okay. Uh, so we have this clearer sound with the sapphire. Now let's proceed to our next one. Our fourth type is the ruby rod, sometimes substituted with chromium because it gives that same type of reddish color. In fact, the characteristics more or less are very similar to that to the sapphire cantilevers. So we don't have a great difference. And a lot of times it's cho it's chosen because of its color, of its red color. So they're very similar. If you see the specs, the density, the speed of sound and things like that, very common, very simple, very similar. Okay, let's proceed. Type number five is one of the most famous and highly regarded types, the boron rod. Even though we do have some uh, boron pipes made by Technics in the past, you usually hunt for this one in terms of equilibrium, in terms of balance, of quality and cost, absolutely. Today, it's mainly in the form of rods, and you have an incredible stiffness. It's very, very resistant. Hence, that perfect tracking, that perfect transmission, the speed of sound. This is a value you will see in the table. I'll show you in the end, or I'm going to put the link at that page of Namiki. Uh, it's just at the maximum, uh, almost at the verdicts of uh, the best uh, specs of all of them. So, as I said, in the in the ratio of uh, of a quality and cost this is probably one of the most unbeatables absolutely and uh, one of the the preferred by a lot of audiophiles out there let's proceed in our sixth and final position we have the diamond rod oh yes obviously it's a synthetic diamond as the stylus itself we're never very rarely talking of true diamonds for cantilevers obviously it's fake it's synthetic stylus can be true i mean very very strange and esoteric types in any case apart from that diamond cantilever as you can imagine it's diamond it's the hardest material on earth so uh, 
nice and stiff, nice and rigid. It's very difficult to deform. So obviously, as you can imagine, it has the, the best in, in all the specs and uh, the sound speed transmission and the, the accuracy it, It's just very precise. It's a precise sound and the best of the best cartridges out there usually have a diamond cantilever. As you can imagine, these are the main types. There are several other materials employed in the, in the making of this type of product. Uh, for example, beryllium, even though they're, they're, they're not making that much anymore because of environmental issues, titanium, techniques used to do those, but also ca carbon fiber, also cactus spine, like Soundsmith and Miyajima. I mean, there's so many and so many solutions, it's fascinating. But the ones I described are the ones most commonly used and probably the most reliable. Okay, guys, very simple, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments here below regarding other types you think are, are worth to, to try out. I'm interested in that. Thank you again for watching and remember, music is born analog. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.